Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see how to use you know, up down counter in CX programmer. So, let us take one empty instruction, go to details, find instruction. So, here we are having CNTR. So, up down counter is called this reversible counter in Ombron. Okay, so click OK and you need to give the timer name. So, I am giving the timer number as 5 and uh, and what is the count limit? So, I am giving 3. Click OK. So, the block is ready. So, if you see this block is having 3 inputs. So, one is for up, one is for down and another one is for reset. So, the perfect example to understand this up down counter is you know car parking so if you want to know how much car has present inside the parking slot means you can make use of this counter concept how so i'll explain that so up counter is what you will be incrementing so if you want to count how many cars is entering so that place is called incrementing or that is called as up counter okay so while entering uh, you know area well uh, you know entry point you can keep one sensor to sense okay the vehicle is crossing so this is one count like that you can give one pulse to the counter so like that i'm going to add one sensor here so that is the entry sensor entry point sensor so this what is the working of this sensor it will give one pulse if if it detect a car is or vehicle is passing okay so this is entry point sensor so whenever this sensor is giving an input what will happen the counter is increment okay one car has passed second car third car like that it will count all right so next we have one more sensor at the exit so what is the use of this sensor it will count Okay, the car has passed means it will give one pulse and that pulse is given to the down counter of this reversible counter. So, what will happen if the value, the total number of car present inside is 2 means if this sensor is giving on one input and the total number of car inside the parking slot will become 1. So, that is what it will decrement the count. So, I am giving this as exit point sensor and uh, we have one more uh, reset switch right so this is the reset switch and uh, I'll, I should have one more contact for counter number so I have to delete this counter so because my counter is C005 all right so, I have a buzzer out. So, buzzer out is to know the limit has crossed. So, one difference you can find between this up down counter is up and up counter means. See, for up down counter, when the limit is crossed, then only it will give the buzzer out. So, I will show you. So, but in up counter, whenever the value is 3 and if we reach 3, it will give the buzzer out. But here, once the limit is crossed, then only it will give the buzzer out. So, I will just explain here with uh, you know in the simulation mode so that you can understand better. So, imagine there is no car inside the parking slot. Okay. Now, one car is entering. So, the uh, let us see this, this value is the number of car present inside. All right. Now, so one more car is entering. Now, the total number of car inside the parking slot is 2. Okay. So, and after some time, one car is exiting. It is going outside. So, this, this sensor is giving pulse to the counter. So, the value becomes 1. So, the total number of car present inside is 1 now. Again, one more car is entering. One more car is also entering. So, now let us see there is 3 cars inside. But output has not turned on yet. But if the fourth car is trying to enter, it will buzzer out. Okay. 
that's the difference between up counter and this up down counter so for the up counter concept cnr what what happened cnt in cnt what happened when the three reach then only it will give the output but here it will have to cross the limit all right so now there is limit reached so when the limit is reached you can find this is zero it is not that there is no car inside there is a it, you know limit has reached so it cannot show the value over here okay now what happened now one car is going outside so you can see the value here now one more car is also going outside so now there is only one car is inside but you cannot see that see this is for uh, our understanding i have told this is number of car inside but once the limit is reached and when you start counting down the value will be one plus so there is only one car in, inside but since due to the this is the reversible counter we have counters two here all right so now one more car is entering so we have two cars inside and uh, yeah we have reached the limit right and you want to start from beginning means obviously you have to give the reset so once you have done the reset everything you can start from first so one two and three once the limit is reached that value will go to zero that's it okay so this is the working of up down counter so i'll meet you in the next session with some example in up down counter so kindly like and subscribe our youtube channel for more updates and videos thank you